my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. Hey, when you are practicing, sometimes it seems like you're practicing something that you really can never learn. It's just too hard. And you're practicing it a lot and, and you're not getting results and you wonder why. And so you start analyzing, am I doing it right? Or if it's bar course, this is really too hard. How can anybody do it as relaxed as the people I look at? And the same thing goes for picking other techniques, depending on what level you're on. And the, 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 the weird thing is that we then move into all kinds of analysis as to what the problem is, because we see that as it's impossible. You know, it really, it's, it's, it seems so hard and he's doing it and it looks so easy. And I just, you know, I was playing a video game, exactly the same process happened. I was playing a video game and I got to level six and it was kind of shoot them up uh, like a spaceship and you have to shoot the aliens and you have to dodge the bullets. And, and suddenly at level six, there's a thing following you that shouldn't get you, right? So it follows you around the screen. So suddenly you have to move all the time. So you have all the challenges of hitting the aliens and dodging the bullets and now you can't stop in one place. And that, I was like, hey, that's too hard. That's way too much, right? So from five to six, now it's impossible certainly. This should be level 100. And so I just didn't touch that level. I just went back and played the other ones that I could really do, right? Can you relate to any of this? You go back to something you know and practice that more. And, and I stayed there for a couple of weeks. And then suddenly in Dawn, maybe I'm just kidding myself here. Maybe it isn't that hard. And then I just attack the same level and say, okay, start. This is a new game I never played before. And the game is about shooting the aliens, dodging the bullets and moving all the time. Just forget about the thing that follows you <laughs> around. Just, you have to move all the time. And so I did, and I finished the level in one try. So the challenge wasn't there in the game so much as it was, it was in my head, right? And the same thing goes here. And it was the same thing all the time when I was practicing bar chords, when I was trying to learn picking techniques, it was like, it was just too hard. It seemed impossible. But the real uh, thing here is actually to practice whatever it is that you want, take a small enough bite. So instead of practicing six strings, if you, if it's alternate picking, you just take a couple, something simple, loopable. And then I practiced it with the metronome, got it to the point where I could play it relaxed, fluently while talking to other people Oh, watch, just watching a movie or a film, right? And I could get everything right. And instead of, you know, thinking that, okay, it takes 100,000 repetitions or 10,000, it takes a million. And then it takes another million. <gasps> Two million repetitions? Yeah, it does, but that's not a lot. You can totally easily do that. You just do what I did, you know, practice it to the level where you can get everything right without thinking about it. And then you can practice without thinking about it. You know, and most people, not most people, but the average uh, TV consumption is like six, seven hours a day on average for the Western world. So you can totally convert some of those hours or you can make it a rule to never, if you have idle hands, then you're playing guitar, to never have idle hands again. Because if you do that and practice something loopable and smaller and you have perfect relaxed repetitions, then I promise you, your body will adapt to that. So, so that's the secret. And, but that just seems so far away, but that's the way to get from, oh, this looks impossible to, oh, this is totally easy. This is like breathing in and breathing out. And I can even do it while I'm talking to you, right? Because it takes up no resources in the brain. It's an automatic pattern, right? It's easy. And I'm not special. And anyone who can do this isn't special. There's nothing else involved than a massive number of perfect repetitions. And those who did not do perfect repetitions, but pushed and pushed and practiced fast all the time, <laughs> those have a technique that totally mirrors that, that totally reflects that. And when you're a beginner, you can't really see or hear that. But when you grow, 
then your ear develops and you can suddenly see, oh, he's faking it, <laughs> right? But don't, don't mind that now. You'll know uh, when you get to that level, you can suddenly see, oh, that's what you get when you push yourself all the time. You get injured, right? And you get a, a technique that's just uh, muddy, right? So do what I did f after doing all the wrong things and then look at it like it's just a game and you can play it and anyone can succeed and stop being <laughs> right it's not impossible it, it really isn't it's not a level six that you can't do it's a level six that you can totally do if you just forget about that that whole notion of uh, maybe i'm not holding the pick right maybe i'm not doing this right i need to find more youtube videos that shows me you know the trick let me find the trick to doing this there's not a trick there are basic insights into how the brain works and how to get there fastest. But that, that's not like, okay, I started holding the pig like this and then suddenly I could do it or I developed 10 times faster. Nope. Most often you have to stop things that you're doing to develop 10 times faster. You have to stop, you know, trying all these things out that the brain comes up with or that you find on YouTube. Uh, you have to stop doing those and then go back to the programming of the brain in the most effective way in order to get your result. But you can only figure that out once you stop looking for that magic trick, that special bomb that you can suddenly upgrade your spaceship with, or there must be some kind of secret that I can find that can you know, make this level as easy as the previous level. It's not going to happen. I hope this makes sense, and I hope that was a valuable analogy for you. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.